Hi, and welcome to Mount Isa. We're currently preparing for an upcoming reverse circulation drilling program with our joint venture partner, Jogmec, and I'd like to take you through a bit of an update. You can see over my left shoulder here is the Mount Phelp uh, iron deposit. So I'm currently at the Shadow Prospect. You can see here one of our rock chip samples taken from surface here. And we're looking forward to our drilling program. There'll be a couple of holes here at Shadow. I'd like to talk you through our activities in Mount Isa. Since the last joint venture drilling program, we've been busy completing several geochemical soil surveys, detailed field mapping along the shadow trend in the Mount Felt Breccia region, along with some follow-up geophysical surveys, including downhole EM. The upcoming RC drilling program will drill approximately 10 holes for 2,200 metres of drilling at six target areas. The shadow and Toby targets will be revisited, whilst we look to test a number of targets, including Charlie in the surrounding Toby area whilst we also look to test new targets in the north of the JV area at Ibn Stephen and Trafalgar. The shadow target, where we drilled two holes earlier this year, features a 4.5 kilometre magnetic trend with coincident copper and gold mineralisation on surface. The two holes to be drilled in the upcoming program are located approximately 200 metres north from our earlier drilling and will target a magnetic high along this trend. There are anomalous gold and copper readings on surface at the drill location, and our recent soil survey highlights some strong gold anomalism on both the northern and southern parts of this trend. A nearby slope sampling soil program along the Fountain Range Fault also identified a number of prospective copper and gold anomalies. Here at the old Trafalgar uh, oxide operation operated uh, a few years ago now, not a lot of modern data, not a lot of drilling. You see a lot of the remnant oxide material left here on surface. You can also see just off to, to the left of me here, you can see the old workings underground there. So a number of different little drives underneath, um, very, very narrow, um, old timer workings, um, but indicative of the mineralisation that we see through this region. We'll be drilling two holes here, part of the Jogmec joint venture. Um, this is quite an exciting area, not a lot of work being done here recently. Close to Trafalgar is the Even Stephen prospect. Even Stephen is characterised by coincident gravity and magnetic highs along with copper and gold anomalism. You can see the green hatching here showing the gravity high, the purple representing the magnetic high, and you can see the soil contours here, the green, yellow and red contours for copper, along with the dots representing the gold anomalism. The joint venture is planning on drilling two holes at this prospect to a depth of 300 metres. At Toby, the ground EM conductor and VTEM anomalies that we were testing were not explained by the low levels of sulphide and graphite mineralisation encountered in the drilling. This area is still highly protective with the joint venture agreeing to test the eastern EM conductor which appears more localised and has a higher response than the western conductor that we tested. This hole will also test a zone of elevated copper, gold, molybdenum soil anomalism located on the eastern side of the conductor. Nearby we'll be drilling the first holes into Charlie, Juliet and Alpha prospects. Each of these target areas features strong surface geochemical anomalism with reconnaissance sampling in 2018 at Charlie, identifying a zone of gossinous red rock breccia with a thickness of up to 40 metres. I'm here at our Tick Hill property here, a uh, perspective for gold. We've just got our soil survey results back. We've got some anomalous gold results through parts of this uh, tenure. We're now subject to doing a little bit more field work here before we define some dual targets for the new year. The highest gold value of 13 parts per billion was recorded on the eastern side of zone 4. A maximum gold value of 5.5 parts per billion was recorded in Zone 6 and 6 parts per billion gold in Zone 2. In Zone 5, an anomaly in excess of 1 kilometre long was located. By comparison, it was a 6.9 part per billion stream BCL sample that led to the discovery of the Tick Hill deposit. The upcoming program will bring us to the end of what has been a busy year for our activities in Mount Isa. Drilling will continue up until the Christmas break, with it likely to resume early in the new year with continuous results coming through the first quarter of next year. Drilling also continues in Western Australia and we're awaiting assay results from all three of our target areas at Bronzewing. We hope to have some news to share with you soon. Thanks for listening.